It delves deeply into the lives of teenagers healing from the wounds of past tragedies and the horrors of growing up in a terrifying orphanage. The Italian filmmaker has expertly transformed the original material into a superb feature film. A moody and dark yet soulful tone surrounds the gripping narrative of an adolescent romance unlike any other and presents viewers with a few queries that may linger even as the credits start to roll. Spoilers ahead. The film revolves around Nika, an orphan who tragically loses her parents in a fatal accident. She is taken to an orphanage that's run by a strict and cruel warden who treats the children with disdain and neglect. There, Nika is introduced to Rigel, the warden's star child. The two begin developing a friendship that is always pushed away by Rigel, despite his concern for her. At 17, Nika is finally adopted by a loving couple. However, she is surprised to see that they have also adopted Rigel. Living under the same roof, the two who care for each other gradually unravel their previously hidden romantic emotions towards each other, while adjusting to the new life they have been presented with and the complexities it produces for their relationship. Nika is placed in an orphanage at a young age after her parents pass away in a fatal car accident. She has no other option but to abide by the many rules of the institution presented to her by the warden, which is order, respect, and obedience. Along with the few other friends she makes at the orphanage, she is introduced to Rigel, a peculiar boy who seemingly is the warden's favorite. With time, she comes to understand that Margaret, the warden, is the devil herself and that her new home is a hellhole. Because of this, she and the other kids would refer to the orphanage as the grave. Aside from the comfort of having a small group of pals, she is taught to be emotionally indifferent over time and becomes emotionally indifferent due to the warden's lessons and physical punishment. The institution's kids receive terrible care and hardly ever get to enjoy their childhood. Nika felt unwelcome and invisible, whereas Rigel was granted special privileges. During her formative years, she was introduced to the legend of the tearsmith, a tale of an illusive character present in a world where no one is able to cry. Enveloped in emptiness, the souls of this world are deprived of any emotion, and in the midst of them lived this shadowy creature of solitude. He could contrive tears for those who wanted them. Many would go to him pleading to make them cry so that they could feel even the slightest emotion. They would cry with fear, anguish, sorrow, anger, and pain, as it was the only way people could cry in this world. Beneath these tears were pent-up emotions of burning passions and disillusionment. To Nika, she had become a part of this legend. At 17, she is adopted by a loving couple, Anna and Norman Milligan, who are surprisingly also interested in Rigel, known as the Star of the Grave. With his admirable piano skills and nonchalant behavior, the boy will now share a roof with someone he ideally doesn't want to interact with, and the feeling is mutual. As they adjust to their new surroundings, Nika, a loving soul at heart, reaches out to Rigel, but he wants nothing to do with her advances. He tells her to stay away from him. Here, we see an underlying hidden connection between the two, which gradually becomes evident. We learn more about Nika and Rigel's bond at the orphanage and how he covertly looks out for her as the narrative goes on. Even though Nika has clearly always loved Rigel, their previously hidden feelings for one another are now visible. Every time Nika goes to check on Rigel, he pushes her away and claims to be the wolf in her story. It seems like they have awkward yet sultry interactions all the time. Nika, however, holds a different opinion. Nika and Rigel's physically intimate interactions become more apparent on several occasions. From Rigel's night of having a fever to their intimacy on the piano throne, the couple becomes more and more physically close. When Lionel tells Nika that he is in love with her, Rigel's jealous anger escalates, and he assaults him. Rigel has become protective of Nika, but at the same time, he seems very distant from her. He tells her to stay away from him because if she doesn't, he won't be able to stop himself. In Nika's case, she cares for Rigel and wants to be with him, but she knows they're damaged from their past. However, their pasts have bound them together. As the film moves forward, Rigel tells his foster parents that he no longer wants to be a part of their family after the couple agrees to adopt them formally. In the back of his mind, he is doing this for Nika to give her a good life away from him, as he still thinks he's the villain of her story. Meanwhile, Nika is invited to the school dance with her new friends from school. 
At the dance, she encounters an apologetic Lionel, who seemingly just wants to be friends this time. He takes her to an empty classroom, where he tries to have his way with her. Rigel, who has already told the Milligans he's leaving, appears from nowhere and steps in to stop Lionel from going further, resulting in a fight between them. Lionel escapes, and the couple is left in privacy to express their love for each other physically. Here, all their inhibitions are lifted as they completely embrace each other and profess their love. In the following scene, Rigel and Nika are forced to jump off a bridge when Lionel threatens to run over them with his car. Nika wakes up in the hospital with her friend Adeline and foster mother Anna by her side. She immediately starts asking about Rigel and is informed that he survived the fall but is in a coma. Nika cannot take no for an answer, as she's told that his custody has been transferred back to Margaret. Unable to see Rigel, Nika makes it a point to do anything to be with her love again. Margaret is taken to court by Nika, who accuses her of committing several transgressions and relates how she traumatized both her childhood and the parenting of multiple other orphans, including Rigel. She tells how, despite his profound affection for her, Rigel would push her away whenever she attempted to approach him, since he had been convinced he was a villain. With her words, Nika triumphs and persuades the court of Margaret's wicked deeds. She informs Rigel, who is still unconscious, that he is her tearsmith and that he revived all of her long-suppressed feelings. As Nika hugs him, Rigel and Nika were destined to be with each other. They suffered through immeasurable hardships, but those wounds bound them together. While they felt they were damaged and unwanted, time had made them understand that they deserved love from each other and the people around them. The final scene Rigel is of the couple in this distant future with a child of their own, from the time living they met the happiest children lives they could have ever imagined. Their bond and family are proof of their will to love each other and their understanding of each other's pains. The film confirms that the couple ends up together and lives happily ever after. What happens to Margaret? Does she go to prison? The harsh and despotic warden of the orphanage where Rigel and Nika were raised is Margaret. She disregards the children's needs and corrects them even when they make the smallest mistake. Nika and all the other kids living under the strict regulations of the warden find redemption in the penultimate scene. Nika discusses the horrible experiences they had in the orphanage in this passage. She speaks for all the mistreated kids who are too afraid to dare confront the warden, not even after they've left the orphanage. Nika revealed that while they were being tortured, Margaret's star child, Rigel, witnessed from the sidelines in anguish. She explains that Margaret convinced Rigel that he was a monster, which, in turn, made him into an isolated person who was not willing to accept affection. However, Nika saw through it and realized his demeanor was all Margaret's doing. She was and always has been the children's worst nightmare as she wields power even after they move on with their lives. The court gives Nika a heartfelt standing ovation for her testimony, and the movie verifies that she was able to beat Margaret. This is further supported when she informs Rigel that they won.